Hey everybody! So as you may have guessed from today's intro, today's video is about butt worms. Butt worms! My child has butt worms. Seriously, butt worms. You know, when I was a kid, I thought, you know, I'm going to grow up and I'm, I'm going to be a mom someday. That's going to be awesome, right? I mean, yeah, kids are work, I got to wipe butts, that kind of sucks, but kids are fun. You know, I was a babysitter. I used to bathe kids, watch them, diaper change, I mean, the whole shebang. I knew it was hard work. I knew it could be kind of gross sometimes. I mean, kids pick boogers, spit up. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But never in a million years could I have dreamed that I would spend three sleepless nights parting the butt cheeks of my child, plucking worms from her anus. Worms! Worms, people. Ha! Oh, worms. I mean, in seventh grade, when I did that science project, Worms World, I never imagined that I would have to actually, like, conduct that on one of my children's butts. So they're called pinworms, right? And I didn't know much about them other than the fact that it gives you an itchy butt. So when the kids started itching, I thought, ooh, wonder if it's pinworms. Not realizing that pinworms are actual worms, intestinal parasites in the gut. Oh, gut. Oh. So I went out and I bought some over-the-counter remedy, thinking, well, you know, we'll give it to her if, we, if she needs it. And I went online and I, I read about them. And then I promptly wanted to throw up. Because depending on the website you look at, they say that between 30 and 80% of children at any given time have pinworms in their bodies. And that not necessarily everyone is going to show symptoms. So they just continue to, to live their merry little pinwormy lives laying 10,000 eggs on your anus and uh, eating the food that you're eating. And also, those eggs that they lay, well, they blow around in the wind. And, you know, your, your kids start scratching their bottom, and then the eggs are under their fingernails, and they wave their hands around and touch toys and touch you know, your kitchen countertop and drop eggs there and then the air conditioner turns on and blows them into your soup pot and sooner or later your entire family is teeming with ass worms. Or at least that's what one has to assume considering that they are entirely too contagious. So now my daughter has ass worms and most likely my entire family is, is suffering with butt worms. So we dewormed her, dewormed the older one, dewormed the husband. Bo and I, though, we're not so lucky. Can't be dewormed. So we're going the homeopathic route, right? Hoping to heal the gut and uh, make it an inhospitable place for the butt worms to live. So really, you should be glad right now that I'm talking to you over the internet and not sitting in your house spreading butt worms. And for those of you unlucky enough to know me in person, you might have butt worms. <sighs> butt worms, what has my life come to? Anyways, but the only funny thing that came out of all of this is I was walking around CVS going, no, 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 butt worms. And now I can't get it out of my head, which you know, maybe that's not so funny, but it does embarrass a lot of my kids. And one day, oh, one day, in about 10 years, when one of her friends is searching the interwebs and finds this video, my child's life is probably going to be over. She'll come home weeping, Mother! How could you have told the world that I had butt worms? And I shall look her in the eye. And I shall say, I had the right to tell everyone as soon as I had to take a tweezer to your butt and pull worms out of it. Live worms, people! Wiggling, inching live worms! Whew. I hope your weekend was less disgusting than mine. <laughs>